Welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about booleans. Booleans are a variable type that returns true or false. And we can evaluate any expression in Python and get true or false. When we compare two values the expression is evaluated in Python and returns this boolean answer. So an example of this we're going to print two greater than one. When we run this, Python's going to give us this boolean, which is true because two is greater than one. If we switch this around, one is greater than two, and run it, it's going to return false. We can also compare one is equal to two, which would return false, and print 100 is less than 200. We can use this in an if statement. So when we run a condition in an if statement, Python will return a boolean as well. So we're going to set this up and say x is equal to 5 y is equal to 1 and our if statement is going to say if y is greater than x then we're going to print y is y is greater than x else print y is not greater than x. So if y is greater than x, it will do this. It will print y is greater than x. If y is not greater than x, it will drop down to this else and it will print this. So we'll run that. y is not greater than x. So it did not run this line. It jumped down to our else and ran y is greater than is not greater than x. The boolean function also allows us to evaluate a value. It gives us a return of true or false. Most values return as true if they include any strings any numbers except for zero, any list, tuple, sets, and dictionary. So in an example of this would be we're going to print the boolean my name is and let's also copy this and we're going to print the boolean of an integer. We should get true for both of these. Forgot my parenthesis there. And we got true for both of those because it's going to return true with a string or in an integer as long as that's not zero. So if we change this to zero, we see that it will tr return true for our string, false for our zero. Now there's several other values that will return false. I'm just going to copy these and paste these down for the sake of time. Um, obviously false will return false. 0 will return false, none will return false, two quotes with no strings, two parentheses, two brackets, and two curly braces will all return false. We can also have functions return a boolean, so we're going to define a function here real quick.
and we're going to have it return true and then we'll run this function and when we run this function we can see that it does return true we can also use this as a test so let's take this print statement out of here and we'll say if our bool function print yes it's true else print no it's false and so when we run this we can see that because our function returns true it's testing it here so if bool function and it's assuming true here it'll print this if this function returns false it will step into the if statement or excuse me it'll step into the else statement print no it's false so if we return false we can see that it did not run this line and it stepped into our else statement and printed this line there are also a number of built-in functions that will return a boolean so an example of one of these is we'll set up we'll assign x to 5 which is an integer and we're going to print is instance our variable x int so basically we're seeing if the instance of x if it's an integer it's going to return true and if we ask it if it's a string it'll return false so booleans can be very powerful and we will use them a lot later on in these lessons